What is up, you guys? <clears throat> I just woke up. So let's look at some more of God's wonderful creation. Following this page, look at the Milky Way. Check out the Milky Way in here, guys. Beautiful. Let's see what Yo Yuma Harai has. Wonderful. Look at the Milky Way, guys. Andromeda Galaxy right there. I have a feeling soon, guys, we're going to be raptured. And then I will be able to ask God how he made all of this in space and everything. So awesome. Beautiful. Hmm. <laughs> that is just incredible, God. That is it. look how many stars, you guys. Look how many stars, each one of those little tiny specks, there's m hundreds of thousands of them in this picture. If not millions of just tiny little dots. And one star, again, you guys, is as big as our sun, or even thousands of times bigger than our sun, and thousands upon thousands of times bigger than our Earth. And look how many are in this picture. That is incredible. That is beautiful. <laughs> oh man, you guys, look how beautiful this is. You got the uh, Orion's belts right there. The little three dots, the three little stars. So gorgeous. Beautiful. Andromeda Galaxy again right there. Again, the Earth shifts, the Earth spins and rotates. So things are at different locations. You know that Andromeda Galaxy was on this side in that other picture? It's because the Earth, things move around the Earth, I think. That's the reason. Oh, man. That is gorgeous, you guys. Look at that. Wish we could see that with our naked eye, but you know, guys, if you're new viewer, viewers here watching this, um, these are long exposures. So you can't see that with your naked eye. You can only see them with long exposure Um setting on you know, your camera and whatnot long exposure pictures that's the reason why you can see it. that's why everything is so lit up too you know the grass and the benches despite it being really dark out There you have the Seven Sisters, or the Pleiades, and the moon. I think that's the moon. Let's see. Can't read Japanese. Yep.
Okay, I have obviously no idea what that is. It's like some Japanese Photoshop or something. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That is just gorgeous. Look at that. You know, guys, God's creation, his amazing universe is so amazing. So incredible. See again, guys, there's Barnard's loop. Looks like a smiley face. There it is again. Ah, oh, that's huge, it's Barnard's loop right there. And there it is again. All right, guys, let me show you something really quickly. A bunch of rats in this search. I know it's very, um, very cute. Um, so, you know, God is so amazing. This nebula right here looks like a human eye. It's called the Helix, Helix Nebula. It looks like an eyeball. Check it out, guys. It looks like an eye. And God created this. See, look at that. It looks like an eyeball. God is just leaving more traces of his existence. So atheists can see these pictures, but they still choose to believe that God isn't real. Despite Nebula out there looking like a human eye, they think that the universe created that. Or... A nebula looks like a dolphin. It looks like a dolphin. Check this out, you guys. Look. It looks like a dolphin. I mean, God created this. It's not the universe. God is the designer. Or... The crab nebula. Oh, that's just gorgeous right there. Painting. The crab nebula looks like this. Because you see the, the legs. Um, beautiful. Or there's a question mark in outer space. You know, there's a question mark in outer space, too, right now. How did the universe create this? It didn't. God created this. God created it. It's, look at that, it's a question mark. God is very, let's, what's the word for it? Very specific. He is very detailed with his creations. 
You know, he he put in space what we, he knew we would see on Earth that he also created. You know, dolphins, obviously the human eyeball, um, crabs, um, and question marks. And then people look into outer space in the universe and say, hey, this stuff is actually up there too. I wonder if God actually does exist because... There has to be a designer for all these things in the universe. The universe couldn't have designed all this. Or all the cell structure in your body. You know, everything works in an orderly fashion way. Your cells, um, healing process, um, you know, everything is just awesome and very detailed in design. So, you know... People who say that there is no God is a fool. And I believe that is a scripture somewhere in the Bible. Uh, because God is definitely real. There's Take a look around you. Nature. People are like, oh, that's just Mother Nature. That's not Mother Nature. That's Father God. Um, and, you know, or you see little ants carrying boulders. Like what? Like four times their size or something like that? Or something I, um, like little crumbs or like boulders to them. You know, every and all the instincts and animals and everything. Everything. The universe couldn't have created that. The universe has no brain. God is the one who created it all. God is the ultimate designer. You know, so like what about all the microscopic organisms in the entire ocean? Or... Um, yeah, you guys, so, I mean, like, seriously, this, there is, I can't remember what scripture it is, but in the Bible, it is mentioned also that, um, you will be held accountable with no excuse on judgment day for saying that there is no God because he gives all this design everywhere to know deep down in us that he exists. That God is real. So I hope you guys enjoyed.